We're here with Jason Shiga at the ALA Annual Conference in Anaheim 2012. Hi, Jason. Thanks for taking some time for us today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Can you tell us what it is about your books that readers love so much? Um, gosh, well, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm not the best authority on this subject uh, since I'm, you know, since I'm the writer. But uh, yeah, pe people. Um, I'm just, just judging from the people I've talked today, uh, yeah, people, people come up to my table and tell me that they're infuriated and frustrated, and they can't, you know, they can't get to the ending, and they're stuck in loops, and uh, yeah, and it's, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's really frustrating for them. I think that's what they like. For people who haven't read Meanwhile, can you explain how someone can get stuck in a loop in one of your books? Uh, well, the uh, idea behind Meanwhile is. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure book, except instead of being prose, it's a comic book. Um, and uh, you start, you read the story by following these tubes around, and at points in the story, the tubes split off into different choices, and to turn to other pages in the story, the tubes actually uh, trail off the edge of the page and onto a tab of another page. So you've worked in libraries in the past. What's it like being in a library conference for you? Um, it's great. I actually, uh, I actually went to the ALA conference maybe 10 years ago, and it was in the Moscone Center. Um, at that point, I was just working as a library aide at the uh, Piedmont Branch Library in Oakland. Um, but it was in town. I thought it'd be fun to check it out. And uh, yeah, it's, it seems like in the last 10 years, it's gotten more elaborate and crazy and huge and yeah it's just uh it's it's a huge production now it's uh it's really it's uh, really impressive to see and how has your experience working in libraries informed some of your work um well i um there's always, there's always a little a little library uh uh, yeah, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's always a little bit of uh, libraries worked into uh, into some of my comics. Um, Book Hunter, which is probably the most extreme example, was uh, set entirely within the uh, Oakland Public Library system. Um, and in Empire State, uh, you know, sometimes it's smaller things, like the main character it, uh, works for a library. And what projects are you currently working on now? What should we, lo we be looking for in the future? Uh, let's see. Right now, I'm working on a huge project. It will be 712 pages, one page longer than Habibi. <laughs> I can't let them. I, I can't let them win. I can't let them have the biggest graphic novel. Um, but it'll, yes, when it's done, it will be around 712 pages. I'm 400 pages. Uh, through it already, so I have about 300 more pages to go before, uh, before it's done. And well, you know that libraries have our ways of organizing the books. But if you were in control, what book would you shelve your books right next to? Uh, wait, am I am I coming up with the catalog? Instead? Oh, not necessarily. Just whose whose books would you like your books to be next to on a shelf? Uh, you can come up with a really complex system if you want to. <laughs> Most people just put them next to their the last book they liked. <laughs> uh, no, I, well, I think if I put it next to the last book I liked, it would it would be difficult for the person to find my book <laughs> if they were looking for it specifically. Uh, it would <laughs> like may, I guess I have to put it next to Naoya Shiga's. A short story collection. I don't. Know. <laughs> um, although no, I, actually no, I take that back because I don't. Yeah, I feel I don't feel comics should be interfiled with regular fiction. I think uh, yeah, I, I think they should get their own section. So it would yeah. I mean, as boring as this sounds, I would say uh, yes. I would say my book should be filed in YA. 741.5 S. <laughs> so it, it, would it would probably be next to, you know, like 
I don't, you know, someone whose name begins with an S, like Stan Sakai or something. Your integrity as a librarian <laughs> or a library person is outweighing your um, your ability to be grandiose and, and self prideful. But that's very noble. Which, are there any other comic book writers that you want to give a shout out to that you're really impressed with their work? Oh, um, let's see. I. I'd say the, the two best uh, graphic novels I read recently, one was uh, Skim by the Tamaki Sisters, um, and the other one was uh, The Drifting Classroom by Kazuo Mezu. Okay, great. Well, thank you for taking time to talk to us today. Thanks for talking to me, too. <laughs>